you guys. It's your girlfriend, JJ. <laughs> excuse, excuse my, my face. I am getting ready to wash and condition my hair real good because my hair is really thick. Um, have my comb for when it's wet. And I bought this yesterday. I have this Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Mafura Oil Intensive Hydration Conditioner with African Rock Fig and Baobab Oil. But it's free of everything. So I'm happy about that. The store I went to was out of the shampoo, but it's okay because I have some of this shampoo, which I'm still using, which I still feel like this stuff has an expiration date. Oh, okay. Well, it's not expired, but I guess better shake it up real good because it looks like it's not <laughs> together. It looks like all this stuff has separated from each other, but vinegar and oil don't mix, so that's probably why. And then I have a replenishing pack that I'm going to use, and I'm going to tackle this head of mine in this clean sink. I'm going to see if I can try to show you guys my new growth before I get to washing it. This is what I mean when I say I think my hair is like a, a two, because there's no curl pattern coming out of my scalp it's just wavy it's just really wavy that's it but someone did explain to me that just because your hair is wavy now once you cut off the relaxed hair your natural hair texture starts to form come out of your scalp so I'm gonna show you guys as much as I can before I get aggravated with it because my hair is so thick I did the porosity test I have low porosity hair which means my hair sits on top of the bowl of water because my hair cuticles are tightly bound together and it's hard for moisture to get in so when I pick out products for my hair I have to use lightweight products products that are easily able to absorb into my hair stuff that has majority water in it and like hair milks and lightweight oils I can use in my hair for normal or medium porosity hair you know your hair is basically fine you don't have to buy specific product I guess you want you don't have to go too heavy or too light and then for high porosity hair your hair um, would sink to the bottom of the bowl normal porosity hair floats in the middle but high porosity hair your hair would float to the bottom of the bowl because your hair is easily able to retain product and moisture however because it's high porosity hair it's easy to escape as well so you want to use a thicker product or thicker oils in your hair so my hair is low porosity and so that's why I got the products I got and hopefully everything will work out for me I have like eight bottles of this but I use this clarifying shampoo first to clarify my hair and get everything out that's in like all the product build up and everything out I so meant to part my hair first and section it off oh hell no a beating got in here Anything with wings. I just conditioned it for over an hour, maybe like three hours actually.
Okay, you guys, it's late tonight and my hair is still pretty much wet in the middle. I would say it's about 50% wet in the middle still, but the outside is like pretty dry and then some of it's like 80% dry. But I'm about to attempt this flat twist. No, never done it before in my life, but all I have to work at right now as far as product is. And I, my aunt gave me some of her eco styling gel and I'm going to use some of this. With a little bit of water and use it as my moisturizer. I'm actually watching a video as I do this. And if I can just show you real quick. This video is going to be so ugly of me. But I'm just trying to show y'all what I'm doing. This is my hair pattern right now. And I miscalculated. It has been uh, five months. It'll be six months and two weeks that I had a perm. So. And you can go back and look at my videos for verification. Because my last perm was in my iPad video that I got for Christmas. Okay, and then I divided my hair into three sections. And then I took some of this front section out so that I could work with it first. And I'm done with my flat twist. Good morning, you guys. I'm back. I'm like, oh, French J, you took forever. Okay. Well, I feel like I took forever. Anyways, I did my makeup and stuff. It's time to take this hair down. Okay, so this side is clearly still wet, and this side is not. I look at a short bottom, honestly. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with this. Cause I'm definitely not wearing it with the ends, looking fishy. Okay, you guys, this is the finishing results. I have these two uh, pieces braided because they look fish hooked. So I'm trying to stretch them out a little bit. So this is going to be the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Peace.